Hey guys, Ryan House here, and welcome back to Commander of the Great War, playing as the Central Powers. Uh, we've made quite a bit of progress. Our military, this playthrough, for this campaign, seems to be a little more high-tech. We're getting planes, we're getting all sorts of other stuff that we really didn't have much of last game. Uh, we did a rush for, like, armor, but we didn't really get armor into play, sadly. Uh, the British made some, I think we had to ship it over, and it never actually got into the game before we ended up winning. So... Um, one of the things I'm going to do before we move on to the next turn is Austria needs some more infantry. They've been losing infantry. So we're going to build some infantry and some garrisons. Um, more troops. Uh, the Russians are killing them up here. Killing them. Uh, also, this bulge here is getting larger and larger. We really need to start pushing them back. But look at all these Italian units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. It's just a lot of extra troops that came out of nowhere, and uh, now we have to fight them off. So maybe we can start pushing them back, and we have a smaller front to handle with fewer units so, so we can move them towards more vital fronts like this western front here. But until then, we do have the Bulgarians entering the fray. It's going to take them a, full, a few turns to get into uh, real use, um, but we are... Uh, let's see here. We are going to build some more garrison units for them. To help defend their area. Maybe one more after that, I'm, I'm thinking. And uh, Ottomans. In fact, let's go ahead and get some more Ottoman garrisons out over here as well. So the Ottomans and a few Bulgarian garrisons will help protect this area. And then maybe we could um, uh, get these Ottoman forces over here to help fight against the remains over here as well. So, it's looking interesting. Looking very interesting. Okay. Fresh blood, and I don't really care about losing Ottoman and B Bulgarian forces. Uh, they're entering the war so late into the game that they don't have any uh, manpower deficiencies, nor are they going to be producing, like, gigantic armies anyways. Um, let's go ahead and start some research for them. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and end the turn, and let's see what happens. Constantinople Express. As a result of Bulgaria's entry into the war and the conquest of Serbian territory, Berlin Canal Rail Equipment directly toward the Ottoman Empire. Mm, mm, mm. So are we going to be seeing German troops fighting the British down in Egypt? Ooh, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Alright, so maybe we can do some turnaround here. Um... This unit's going to become a thorn in our behind. Or not. Okay, so that was good. And we can focus here. Why not? Let's do it. And Warsaw has fallen. Warsaw, the capital of Poland and third largest city in the Russian Empire, has been taken by the Central Powers. Now that, that was, that's a good victory for us. Now if only we can capitalize on that.
All right, and a couple other things here. Um, I'm going to be bombarding these guys because they do so much damage. So if we can get their efficiency down, the Russians will be less likely to use them. And it also seems like uh, it seems that the Russians are going to be moving towards Krakow, which is horrible. This is really bad for us. Um, we might be able to ship, yeah, we'll be able to ship a unit over there uh, to help defend. But uh, it looks like they are going to be pushing. Alright, so now this Italian front over here, if we can close this gap, if we can do this, um, that would be excellent. That would be ideal. Uh, let's see first. Hmm. But Austria does not have any ammunition left. Ooh, what a shame. That is a big shame. So, let's see here. Really, they can't even shoot down those. That sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. Definitely need some uh, armed aircraft. Definitely need to get these advances rolling here. Uh, maybe we should start increasing our uh, research capacity in those regards. Uh, let's see here. Aerial Artillery Coordination. Sound Ranging. Okay, Aerial Artillery Coordination. Um, we'll get our air attack value up for our infantry. Hmm, do I want to do that or do I want to do flamethrower? Ground attack, assault. Actually, we'll do flamethrower. Uh, Austria, Hungary. Let's get aerial attack. And. It looks like that's it for now. Okay. What else can we do here? I'm not going to be filling in that gap. But that was pretty good damage by the artillery there. Happy with that. Okay. Let's start shipping more of these Bulgarian troops up. I think we already shipped one via railroad. That's why I can't do it right now. And let's go ahead and place some troops. Austria... They're going to need some defensive troops over here in Klossenberg and uh, Tempschberg. And have them start working on entrenching. That's very important. Um, these guys will start trenching up Sofia. Then there's Nice. Hmm. does have me wondering um, if we're going to be able to hold off the Romanians. Uh, it saw, I saw uh, Russian troops moving. Looks pretty bad. I don't think the Ottoman Empire has any railroad capacity. No, they do. They do have railroad capacity. I'm wondering why we can't use it. Did I already use the railroad capacity? I did, didn't I? Okay. Never mind. Never mind.
What's their air attack at? Okay, so our fighter planes literally have no air attack whatsoever. They're basically scouting planes at this point. Um, until we get our research up and running for that, which is right around the corner. Hmm. That will be good. See, they have air attack and ground attack. These guys don't even have air attack either. So, actually, we're kind of ahead of the curve there in that respect. Oh, I wanted to take Verdun. We'll see if they do a counter attack, probably a counter battery against that unit. Be interesting to watch. <clears throat> all right, and that's pretty much all that we can do right now for this turn. Um, Austria's ran out of ammunition. That huge ammunition stockpile they had is gone. Oh, here, here we have some tanks. That'd be useful. Almost enough to push them back. Ooh, yeah. So we might be able to take some more ground here. That'd be awesome. That would be really cool. And then, uh, where's our submarines at? Here are our submarines. We're going to send them. Uh, let's see. Can I upgrade them? I think they've already been upgraded, right? Yeah, that naval attack went up. So let's get them out and see if we can use them to effect. Alright, and with that, I think it's safe to, let's see, oh now we have units to deploy, good, good, good. This group here should be pretty good to halt the, uh, the Romanians, maybe do some kind of counterattack using Bulgarian and uh, Ottoman forces. The Bulgarians are actually pretty technologically advanced, research-wise. Yeah, they are. Hmm. They're more defensive, defensively, uh, uh, defensive quality troops though very good at digging in okay so let's go ahead and end the turn now we took Warsaw that's our big victory for today and there we go And they continue streaming troops through. Okay. I have a plan. All those Italian troops streaming through, if we can surround them and cut off their way of supplying themselves, we could decimate that entire army. I think that should be our main objective right now, is trying to decimate these armies. You see that Russian unit's going to get cut off right now as well. Okay, so we got a um, German bomber unit. Let's go ahead and deploy him over here this time. We're going to use this to bomb the hell out of them, hopefully. 
and let's see yeah it's gonna take a little bit of ammunition to do that we'll focus on this guy right here there we go sealed the deal hopefully and with that they can move move against our artillery but I don't think it's gonna be enough And our units can be upgraded to be more resistant now to uh, gassing. And there's a nice little pocket here that I'm going to take advantage of. Artillery upgrade. Let's cut these guys off. This artillery is going to have to fall back now. Somewhere safe. And they are moving around the side. How come I didn't see that before? Huh. We'll cut their supply off as well. And I really think I messed that one up. Almost want to get the preemptive attack on uh, on the Romanians and just give them a good wallop in right now. Okay, and with that, let's go ahead and end the turn here, and see what happens. I think that was a French uh, merchant vessel there, arriving in Brest. And we, we haven't seen the French Navy at all.
planes, more British planes. Oh, and they wiped out one of our units. Look at all those units. I did not know the British had that many units. Hoarded. Oh my goodness. They've almost sent nothing to the Western Front. It's all focused against the Ottoman Empire. And you see how they move all of their ships over there to protect their their trade. I need to move my ships out of port so uh, our boats can dock so they can unload. One of our commanders was wounded. Okay, let's get our boats out of the dock there. I'll leave that boat there. I don't think it'll stay. Alright. Okay, so we are close to Verdun. See the amount of enemy airplanes now. They're everywhere. Okay, so we got caught a good portion of the enemy army there. <clears throat> also, research-wise, uh, two turns for armed aircraft attack. Um, Austria, what are you doing? I thought Austria was doing that as well. Huh. So look at uh, the bomb rack next, that's the next closest one. This looks like a mess right now. Very scared about this. Did not know they had that many troops just waiting for us. Not good, not good. On another note, uh, Ottoman production is still incredibly low. Hmm. I'm going to get our forces ready for an all-out assault against Romania with the expectation that Romania is going to become active soon. And there should be a unit down here that we can take care of. There we go. Get our rail lines back. And then there's another one over here that we need to take care of right now. Let's see. How are we going to do this? There we go. So we just took out two Russian infantry units for the price of none. Overall, that's pretty good. And uh, more upgrades on the Western Front. Looks like uh, Italians have a leader here. I wish it would show the. Oh, here it is. Uh, defense and assault. Duke Emmanuel Filibert Aosta is one of Italy's more competent generals, a good and capable overall commander. Excellent. 
And another infantry unit. Hmm. Another infantry unit. I think this infantry unit will use against the Romanians. Indeed. Alright. And then... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this infantry unit up here. Uh, Ottoman cavalry will come to fight against the Romanians. So let's try and get them to a railroad station as quickly as possible. Let's hope they don't move that unit. I don't want my subs to get sunk. And we should be bombing them soon. Let's see. Prepare them. Okay, and with that, let's move our artillery back up to the front. It's safe, for the most part. And then we'll get our units back on that line, and uh, maybe we'll focus on Everett here. What does he do, by the way, for them? Alexei Everts, while possessing skill at conducting stoic defenses, lacks the ability to manage effective offenses. So, space defense modifier. Okay. No problem. Alright, guys. And with that, let's go ahead and end the turn, shall we? Oh no, they're gonna hit our artillery with that cavalry, I think. They might. Russian artillery is nasty. That stuff hurts. Ah, uh, and Austria Hungary has hit another economic deterioration. And it's also dropping their manpower quality to 8 as they start recruiting younger and older aged people to go into the military. So that is, that is negative, very bad. Alright, let's try and lower the... Oh, I can't. These units are in desperation right now.
All right, that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do there. Let's see, we need to swap this guy out. They've been working that unit for quite a while. And yeah, it's time to focus on this pocket here. Unless we use our artillery for the eastern front. What is this? What is going on here? Really? They're pulling back? That's interesting. Alright, so the enemy is pulling back there. Keep moving our cavalry. And I think they are starting to move out here. Keep an eye on them. That's what we'll do. And I'm hoping, oops, I'm hoping that will be enough to take care of these guys. Uh, immediately we'll just try and attack them, surround uh, Bucharest, and destroy them. In fact, I'll probably attack from two angles here. And our death blimp has arrived. Yes! The death blimp of doom. Maybe we can use it to start bombing, uh, let's see. Where can we put it? What's the range on this thing? Let's go to production stats here. Ten. So. I have a feeling this unit is going to get broken. Hmm. I'll just have to move him back. Okay, so we'll go ahead and place this guy. Too many fighter craft here for us to do anything really. Uh, we can definitely use it to weaken the Italians though. We'll try it. We'll try doing that. Um, I don't know where else we could actually put it where it would be very useful. Perhaps against the Romanians. Not quite sure. Yeah, but anyhow. Let's go ahead and place it here. We'll use it to bomb up Venice for now. The strategic attack value of this is going to be excellent. Very good. And uh, then the rest of that stuff uh, we can just pour into um, uh, Austria's uh, ammunition production. Start getting that back up where it needs to be. So these guys have gas masks, is that... fire that
They literally have no efficiency left. Wow. Interesting. I think we're going to start wrapping up this whole front here. Yep, time to push the Russians back. Back to, to whence they came. Alrighty then. Okay, guys. Well, let's go ahead and end this turn, see what happens, and then we'll call this a Let's Play. Soviet Revolution. After the fall of the Tsar, Bolshevik Revolution has now overthrown the Russian provisional government, handed over power to the local Soviets, and Russia has surrender seems imminent, only to be followed by civil war. My god. That is awesome. What does that actually mean, though, for us? It means Russia's gonna collapse, and it means the war is about to swing rapidly in our favor. I think it's because... Uh, let's see here. How many casualties? Currently showing casualties. Russians have taken 449,000 casualties in this war so far. So, I think if we just hang on... If we just hang on... Uh, I don't think we need to press the Russians any further than we already have. So, yeah, I think that's, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to focus on keeping what we already have. Hmm. Keeping what we already have. They didn't gain any efficiency. Time for a strategic attack. Well, let's see. Florence, no. Venice, yeah, we can start bombing Venice. There we go. Yeah, we'll take. We'll start bombing Florence. This is good. This is real good. I think I'm gonna be using more Zeppelins now. Definitely. All right, and Germany has quite a bit of uh, production stored up. So let's go ahead and expand their ammunition even more. And the same with Austria-Hungary. There we go. And uh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria, we're going to go ahead and purchase two more units of infantry. Uh, they're going to be very infantry heavy, but I expect to take some casualties. Um, so I want to use what we can now while we have it.
Should I build another... I think we're going to build another fighter plane. Yeah. Get another fighter plane out on the front over on the western front. That should be good. And... I thought that... Let's see here. Okay, so our fighter planes do have more air attack now. So technically I could start, let's see. Technically this fighter plane could start killing that airship. Is that right? Although its defense looks really high right now. So that is that. Very happy with everything that's happened so far. So far, so good. I do think the Russians might be pushing here, so I'm going to leave that unit there still. And then this front here... Have it defend like that. submarine let's not forget about it this time have a hang out over there <clears throat> okay guys well it's been a lot of fun I'm Ryan House thanks for watching and when we get back to the next let's play uh, we'll get through this winter of 1996 and see if we can go ahead and finish this war okay all right guys happy gaming and I'll see you next time <laughs>